guys, Alicia here. Now today I am gonna be trying out a new recipe that I came across on the WW website, and it is for strawberry shortcake muffins. Now this recipe is supposed to be inspired by the strawberry shortcake ice cream bars, which I have always loved. I loved those as a kid, I still love them now. And so when I saw this recipe, I definitely wanted to give it a try. Plus it only has four ingredients in it, so there's not much to it. It looks pretty easy, so I thought it would be fun to give it a try, and I thought I would take you guys along with me and show you how these turn out. So let me run over the ingredients real quick. First off, what you're gonna need is some Halo Top ice cream. You're gonna need 16 ounces or a pint, and it says you can use Halo Top or a similar product, so I'm just using the Halo Top. And that is just, if you're not familiar with Halo Top, it's just a light ice cream that is high in protein, which is what makes it lower in points. Next up, you're gonna need some freeze-dried strawberries, four tablespoons, but I'm gonna just use this bag, which is gonna be about four tablespoons, maybe a little bit more, but it's the same amount of points, so that's gonna work. And then here is self-rising flour. You're gonna need one and a third cups of that. And then you're gonna need six golden Oreos or six golden sandwich cookies. Now, be careful with brand and points. Uh, I've got these factored in at, let me double check real quick, 14 points for six of them. But cookies, depending on what brand you get, there's gonna be variation in points. So I'm going with the Oreos because the Oreos fit the correct amount of points that are supposed to be in this recipe. So, that's it. Just the four ingredients. So let me jump in here and show you how these come together. First thing you wanna do is get your oven preheating to 350. And then you're gonna take your freeze dried strawberries and it says to pulse them in a mini food processor. So I'm gonna just use my Nutribullet and grind them up in that. I don't know if you can see that, but that, just one quick pulse in that Nutribullet pretty much pulverized those into almost dust. So that's what those are looking like. And so now to that, you're gonna add in your cookies. And again, that's six cookies. And then you're gonna grind this up until those cookies are nice and finely crumbled up. The recipe says specifically until it, uh, the cookies resemble small pebbles. So we'll see if we can get that close to that. And that's what mine is looking like. There's a few pieces that are not completely ground up but the rest of it's pretty well ground up. It's kind of hard to not grind this to a powder in this thing. So I'm gonna set this aside. And back over here, I'm gonna take my ice cream and you're supposed to let this soften to the point to where you can stir it till it's smooth. So it says to microwave at 50% power. Um, I'm just gonna stick mine in the microwave for about 10 second intervals until I can get that to a point where it's easily stirred and I can stir it until it's smooth. So I ended up just putting mine on defrost or on the defrost setting for about 30 seconds and this is what it's looking like right now. And I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna just stir this until it's nice and smooth. I would think another good way to do it would be to just get the ice cream out and let it kind of sit on the uh, counter for a few minutes until it's nice and soft. That would probably work out better than the microwave because even on defrost, or I would guess a 50%, you're gonna get some of it that's melting while the rest of it is not. So probably just letting it soften on the counter would be better. But I'll be back once I get this all nice and smooth. All right, that's looking pretty smooth. So now I'm gonna add my one and a third cups self-rising flour to this. 
and it says to just stir the flour in. When I was reading this recipe, it sounded really unlike anything that I've ever made before. So that's part of the reason why I wanted to try it, because it's just kind of fascinating to be mixing flour with ice cream, but we shall see how this turns out. So there is a cup of that flour. I'm gonna add in the third cup. And I'm gonna get that stirred in too. Also, I should say this recipe called for mini cupcakes. I don't like doing mini things, so I went ahead, doubled the recipe so that I can make full size cupcakes. And I think there's only a point difference between doubling the size. So I figured that was worth it. So we'll see. This doesn't look like a whole lot of batter though. So I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna get 18 cupcakes out of this, but we shall see. That is nice and mixed together. So now I'm gonna take my cupcake liners. And again, I'm doing 18 regular size because I doubled the recipe. Um, so I'm gonna line mine with these silicone liners. You could use paper if you want. And now I'm gonna try to fill these as evenly as possible. Which is gonna be a little tricky because this stuff is uh, kind of thick. All right, well I quickly realized as I was filling these that there was no way I was gonna get 18 cups out of that amount of batter. Even doubling the recipe, I should have been able to get 18 cups because undoubled, you're supposed to get 18 mini. Doubled, you should be able to get 18 regular size, I would think, or at least close to it. But um, definitely did not happen. These are not really full at all. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera. Um, so I'm gonna just do 12, and I'm gonna have to refactor the points to see what these would be at 12 servings. But I'll do that while these are baking. But the next step is to sprinkle this topping on the tops of these, and uh, obviously getting it as evenly as you can between all of them. So I'm gonna start with about a tablespoon, half a tablespoon on each one of these. And just top them all. Okay, I've got these topped, and as you can probably tell, they're pretty heavily topped, and I still have quite a bit of that topping left, almost half. And so I'm thinking you could easily get away with just making half of the topping for these, and then that's gonna cut down quite a bit of points, really. So when I factor, I'm gonna have to refactor this anyway because I'm only doing 12 instead of 18. So when I refactor these, I'm only gonna factor in half of the cookies and strawberries because that's all I'm using. That's the thing about Weight Watcher recipes that I find frustrating sometimes. A lot of them, or some of them, I should say, you'll go to make them and they don't work out the way that the recipe says they're gonna work out. And I think this is an example because since I doubled this recipe, this should technically make 36 mini cupcakes and I didn't even get 12 regular size out of it. So there's that, and then the topping, even if you had 36 minis, you still wouldn't need all this topping either. So, so I think the recipe is a little bit messed up, but as I said, I'm gonna make the adjustments to the topping and only factor in half of the topping for these, and then I'll go back and change the serving size to 12. And that's probably gonna make these Hopefully not too high, but we'll see. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna bake these at 350, and it says for the mini size to bake 12 to 15 minutes, so that's what I'm gonna start these out at, is just 12 minutes, and then I am gonna test them with a toothpick and see if it comes out clean. And if not, I will keep baking them until I get to that point, but I will be back once these are done. Okay, these are looking done, so I'm gonna pull them out and I'm gonna let them cool. Okay, here they are. I went ahead and re-ran the points on these. 
And so one of them is going to be four points. I also factored in two thirds of the amount um, on the topping. So I did three ounces of strawberries, the dried strawberries and four cookies for the topping. And they are four points. So I'll have my hubby try them. I don't know. I'm a little skeptical looking at them now, how good those are gonna be, but we'll see what he thinks of them. Topping. Oh, they're difficult to eat. Topping overload. And keep in mind that is just ice cream and flour, self-rising flour. Which is odd in and of itself, really. <laughs> A little dry. A little dry? So I overcooked him too. Okay. Good to know. So it's got a well, it's got a really nice flavor, a light strawberry flavor. Oh, does it? Okay. That's, yeah. you know, this is, the muffin itself is. How many minutes do you think I overdid? I did, um, what did I do? I did like 16 minutes, maybe 17, actually. Just do maybe 12? Just do 12. Well, I checked him at 12 and the toothpick did not come out clean. So I let him go. Another four or five minutes. Mm. So you think 12, maybe 13, 14 minutes? Yeah. So, I mean, I like those. Really? <clears throat> yeah. Mm. I, I okay. did another for four points. The muffin itself, it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. But the topping? Yeah. And the, so the topping combined with the muffin itself is just this really nice, light strawberry flavor. Summery flavor? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I was starting to uh, get a little discouraged as I was making those, but... So four points, you think that's okay for yeah. four points? Mm -hmm. I mean, an okay amount? Yeah. All right, well, those are strawberry shortcake muffins. They were a little tricky, gave me a little hassle, but I guess they turned out all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you as always for watching and we'll see you on the next one.